Hello everyone, welcome to anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are exploring BI feature of SAP Analytics Cloud. By far in this video series, we have seen how to add geomaps and also the different types of chart controls as part of SAP Analytics Cloud. In this video, we will look at how to add and create a table control as part of SAP Analytics Cloud. Tables are mainly used to present reporting data like in your classical ABAP system or VW system, whenever you used to create facts queries and present the data to the reports, this is where you can create and make use of tables. They don't have any visualizations, more or less they will show you the data, which, is, which, can, be, uh, which can be presented as direct numbers and in a tabular form. So let's get started. We'll switch over to the system and we'll try to add a table so by far in this series of videos, we have had a variety of controls. If you have not seen my previous videos, I would encourage you to click on the I button or also check the description of this video to check these, uh, how do we created these different objects. Now let me switch over and click on plus over here to add a quick table. And now you can see we have got a table. And in this table, we are going to add our measures and dimensions. So I will go ahead and add here my dimension as country and together with country I would also like to add the continents you can also add country codes if you wish to and now in the measures we are going to add account measure as I think it's already added so I switch over to the you can see here a uh, day has been already added over here, but if I would like to quickly go ahead and change that, I can go to the count measure and click on filter button. And now I can say, show me number of cases and deaths. Click on OK. And I can see two measures have been added over here. So now we can also go back and add a little bit of styling option here for the table. So you can probably add a border for the table properties, color field for the expand icon, and also the font properties available. So you can uh, you can add different options here. So suppose I'll go back and change this option. So you can see we've got now the section here to add different coloring option for the table. Yeah. So that's a default styling. And also we have variety of options for line numbers, number formats. Uh, suppose I wanted to show all the numbers in the um in the format of let's say thousands so you can always do that so you can see now it's showing in, in thousands actually now you switch it, switch it over to default that's better and now we can just click on save on our story and let's quickly also do a preview on our story so we can go to the view mode and you can see how beautiful our table looks like in the data set so you can see by far it's coming pretty nice in terms of data which is acquired from our acquired data model and in the next video we will discuss uh, more features about uh, creating the page filter so that we will be able to filter the data live in action so with that thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this channel feel free to give a thumbs up and feel free to join our course on sap analytics cloud with the detailed training on analytics cloud on unworldtrainings.com and i'll see you in the next video